coming up next we install the Govi RGBIC S14 bulb string lights did an unboxing yeah I love Govi products I have so much of these um, these bulbs and lights and stuff throughout my house car room oh here we go oh wow oh. and took a look of what happens at night when these are finally illuminated come on let's do some fun stuff around the house hey what's going on everybody it's Chi here and today I got something new from Amazon let's do a quick unboxing I forgot my razor blade oh, let's see if I can do this by hand uh, if I rip it <laughs> I got no nails to trim this oh, I'll be right back 12 seconds later okay I'm back I got the trusty scissor here about to slice this up in let's see what we have unboxing is always fun you haven't been seeing my unboxing videos I did a bunch of them take a look at that so what I picked up today is BAM it's the Govi RGBIC S14 bulb string light if you haven't seen my video of doing the LEDs around the house I did that last year and surprisingly it held up during the winter time take a look at that video I'll link it at the very end you can see the installation and you can see all of these amazing lights the house looks really cool so what I wanted to do is added color bulbs I have a tree here it's like a miniature maple tree I believe we have um, sorry it's kind of bouncy we have white lights on there right now but I wanted to add color so it could have uh, different effects kind of like the same thing what we see around the house so let's do an unboxing of this and see what we have so this one is I believe it's a 15 bulb light yeah 15 bulb light on this one pop it open and let's pop it open and see what we get yeah I love Gobi products I have so much of these um, these bulbs and lights and stuff throughout my house car room oh here we go oh wow oh. okay so here's a string of lights that looks like a plasticky pretty small here's my wrist or my fist pretty good looks like we got the probably like the controller or so it connects to Bluetooth and we have the plug so I think the plug is not waterproof just like my other ones I had to kind of put a plastic layer over it and protect it from the elements I'm gonna probably have to do the same thing with that and um, make sure it protects it over the winter time because it gets super soggy and wet especially it's gonna be underneath the tree you know it's gonna have all that rain and stuff kind of dripping all the branches that's gonna be pretty interesting oh what is this so there's a little maybe it's a fuse old school oh I have no idea what this is maybe it's an extension if you want to add oh I think that what what it is if you want to add more lights to it you can buy another pack and just keep stringing them along that's pretty cool nice little end cap like a water tight make sure that's super tight and also here's one on the other end all right so these are the bulbs I'm gonna go and try to see how I'm gonna string these on and hopefully it'll work let's get to it so that's the tree I'm gonna be doing here's the bulbs that we have originally it's kind of like a white incandescent bulb so it kind of gives it not really white but kind of like a golden hue it looks really cool at night so at night it gives it a nice golden glow 
but I thought it would be nice to have colors in between or around it so we have the house illuminated with the colors and we'll have these ones glowing with colors and um, I'm trying to say have these ones uh, glowing with the um, incandescent golden hopefully they work hopefully they don't overpower each other so that's a tree right behind me pretty good uh, size cute tree and my dad chilling underneath it <laughs> all right let's go ahead and try to do the install so I got my dad helping me out now <laughs> So we're gonna try to like string it along. Kind of follow the same pattern as this. Hopefully the music is not copyrighted. Uh, my dad's jamming right now. <laughs> but yeah, we're gonna string it along right here. Apparently my dad's a pro at doing this. <laughs> I was having a hard time, so he kind of like uh, took the lead. Good thing, because I would have like wires everywhere. He did the first one nice and strung along this tree how come you're so good at this dad no comment it's concentrating Milo, you okay there? Got the supervisor down there. <laughs> Give me a big bundle. Okay. Yeah, a zip tie. There's a... Making some progress here. Oh.
yeah, the system down. Again, if he hasn't been doing this, my wires would be out there to wear. Everything looks nice and straight. Coming towards the end, I don't know if uh, if we need to go around the whole thing, I might have to order one more string. I don't know, we'll see how it looks like. Coming to the last three bulbs. Look at that. What I need to do is um, kind of waterproof this plug. I heard that this is not waterproof, so I gotta put like um, plastic over it and kind of like uh, make a covering, so that way it'll protect it over the elements. And I think same thing with this little USB, or not a USB, but I think this is the Bluetooth connection, the controller, right there. So I'm gonna have to make a little plastic thing to cover that. Done. Thanks, Dad. You, know, you could pull this one up there and then wrap around this one later on and then... So it would hold that one there. You know, with the connection. Just the end cap. <laughs> See what happened. Alright. Give a thumbs up to the camera. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. So right now it's the same color as this. It has more lights, and I have to connect the the app so I could change the colors. Let's do that now. Pretty cool, I recognized it right away. It says right there, add. So I'm just gonna click add device, device. And let's see if I can change it. The app has tons of choices on here. It's more than the house, it looks like. Different patterns. It's gonna definitely look better in the night. Right now it's too bright. But you can see kind of the color changes. Take a look. Yeah, I'm excited to see what that's going to look like in the dark. It's kind of like a little light, of course. You need the darkness. It should look amazing at night. So I'm going to put the plastic on the little plug and we'll fast forward to the nighttime. So let's fast forward. Um, 
So let's fast forward later on. It's 3.10 right now, and we'll fast forward probably till 8 or 9 o'clock because it gets dark that time. We'll see you then. So it's nighttime. I'm using my phone right now. My GoPro died. I should have charged it, but I forgot about it. <laughs> so you get the phone we should do, just so you could get a glimpse of everything. So here's the house. You probably saw it already, so it's illuminated. And then there's the tree. The thing is, the white is like overpowering, but you can kind of see the color. What's up, Milo? You tired, huh? It's been a long day. All right, so that's a wrap. I think we're just gonna leave it like that. You kind of see the colors. It doesn't do justice on the camera. It gets kind of washed out, but believe me, there's a bunch of different colors there. Kind of looks um, magical. <laughs> Is that the word? It looks magical, I would say. So that was it. I hope you like these kind of videos. I'm Chi, and if you want to see more, please like and subscribe, and I'm out. I'm getting attacked with mosquitoes, so I have to go in. Sheesh. Okay, I'm out.